It's time to watch Bubbles with the Young Life. y'all welcome back to the vlog vlogmas day i think this will be vlogmas day nine i know i suck i missed vlogmas day seven i actually had a video but um we had a long day yesterday so it's sunday right now but i'm saying yesterday because we i was day seven was supposed to get uploaded yesterday but when you see this this will be for day nine so don't mind me but anyway we had a long day yesterday like we did a lot of shopping and stuff we finished our christmas shopping i'm see if i could try to show y'all the stuff we got or whatever if i do it'll probably definitely be a different day because i can't have g <laughs> seeing everything journey either because she like we'll want to start playing with it and i need to go ahead and wrap that stuff up also so i might show y'all i might not i don't know i haven't decided yet but besides all like the toys toys things we also um went like clothes shopping yesterday so it was just a long day we left the house at like i planned on vlogging but i didn't because it was just like it was a lot going on and vlogmas y'all seriously like on a serious note vlogmas can be kind of overwhelming and it could like suck the energy out of you trying to keep up every single day so i'm not like gonna be super hard on myself if i miss a day or two or i was thinking like maybe i shouldn't just maybe i shouldn't even upload on saturdays anyway because a lot of the times like people are out on saturdays especially during the holiday time like they Everybody shopping just like what we was doing so nobody got time to really watch a video. So I might not even upload on Saturdays, but either way. Yeah, that's my um take on vlogmas. I love it. It's a lot of fun um with being creative and making the intros and stuff, but it could be a lot of work. Well, it is a lot of work with especially with like y'all know I do I do it all. Like I film the videos, I gotta import the videos from the camera to my phone because i edit on my phone and then i have to um edit the videos and save the videos and then i have to add music to the videos and then i have to import the videos to youtube and that could just take like hours on top of hours and hours so it's just really time consuming or it can be if you are not like ahead of the game which is what i was kind of trying to be so i might kind of shoot like two videos today i'm thinking about doing this vlog and then later on once the vlog is over or sometime today i can do like a haul to show y'all like all the clothes stuff we got because we got a lot of freaking clothes and i'm sure y'all would want to see that and then um just continue to vlog or whatever so let me show y'all like a little sneak peek of all the clothes we got So, we went to this store called Primark. Um, never heard of it before, except I think I heard of it on YouTube, but like never actually an actual store. And I don't think they even have a website. So, when I do do the haul and show you everything that I got, I probably will try to find like similar clothing pieces like from other places and link them below. Just, you know. If y'all want to find something similar or whatever. But we went to Primark and we got so much stuff. Specifically for Journey because Chris didn't really like too much of the boy stuff. So he got like a few pieces but not a ton. So we'll probably have to go somewhere else for him. Like our normal spots like Old Navy or Zara or H&M or uh, 
Gap or something like that. But yeah, ton of stuff from Primark. Me and Chris got some stuff from Cotton On. We got some shoes. Um, this is from Primark, but that's for Chris. Got this coat, which I'll show y'all all of this stuff in the haul. And then we got two more bags over here from Primark. So, yeah. Most likely, I'm going to be doing a haul on all of that today. But before, I'm out of breath, y'all. Don't even, don't even pay attention to that. But um, before we do hauls and do all this stuff I'm talking, this house has to get cleaned up because I can't even show y'all how bad this house look. Just know it's, it's done up. Like, I'm talking like I need to clean everything wipe baseboards down clean floors clean my refrigerator clean out my cabinets and we also need to go full shopping we might do that today so i might bring y'all you know along for that maybe i don't know it's, it's always hard when i try to bring y'all somewhere with us shopping and then i end up not doing it anyway so i said i might um but yeah chris and jay and just they left like 30 minutes ago and they were supposed to be going to get haircuts, but he just called and said that the guy that cuts their hair is um, not there. So, I guess they're going to try to go back later. So, I sent him to the store. I need this detergent. Like, I have a little bit because I'm about to start the dishes. But I need this detergent. I need some microfiber rags. I need, I need some cleaning supplies because this house has to get clean. I just feel like, like, I, I could be, maybe I'm the only one. I don't know. No, I know I'm not the only one. But when you have kids, like specifically toddlers, like what's a good age? I don't know. For me, I'ma just say like six and under. Jaden is five, so I say like six and under. And I'm about to have three of them little things. Oh God. But when you have like kids that young, I feel like I'm cleaning up constantly. And the only time I see my house fully cleaned is when um uh maybe like for a good 30 minutes after cleaning it and then once jane gets home from school journey get up from a nap chris get home from work it's a mess and they just like all of them collectively they messy as crap they don't put stuff back where they get it from and i like to clean up put stuff in a, a like specific space and then um that way, you always know where it's at. You don't have to keep coming to me because I clean up. You don't have to keep coming to me asking me, well, where is this? Where is that? Well, maybe if you would put it back in the specific designated place I gave it last time, you won't have to ask me. So, um, yeah, that's what I be dealing with in this house. But I'm about to stop ranting with y'all and start doing the dishes. I like to focus on the dishes. I really hate doing dishes. Usually, I would do dishes last. But whenever I decide to do dishes last, they never get done because I hate doing the dishes. And then I would give the task to Chris. But Chris can take up to four hours to get dishes done. Where as for me, it would take me like 30 minutes or less. And it's just ridiculous. Like nobody has time. He'll be sitting here bent over, watching videos on his phone, trying to do dishes, not focusing. And I'm just like, bro, by the time you finish that, I don't need help cleaning the whole house because the whole house is done. So, <laughs> to get that out the way and not be bugged by that, I'm going to do the dishes. They look crazy, y'all. <laughs> they look crazy. I'm going to do dishes now. And that way, when he get home, we can get to, like, the real stuff that need to be cleaned. And don't gotta, we don't even got to worry about the dishes. Like, bro, I got it. You ain't got to even worry about it. So, Q the dishwashing time lapse now <laughs> is going to be the kids room because it's a hot freaking mess beds not made it's stuff everywhere on the floor clothes need to get put away and toys and journeys coming in here with her car so let's just go ahead and clean this room up
bagged up that they can't fit that I didn't know if I was gonna give away or keep because you know we don't know what baby number three is gonna be yet but I'm kind of like over it so for now those bags are gonna stay here so like I'll probably close them up and stuff but yeah I'm about to straighten up this corner and then this is all Jaden's shoes that he don't know how to put back in the designated spot which is this basket? Simple, right? If only. Took a break from cleaning because we need to go food shopping because we don't have no food in the house. And I just cleaned the fridge out and did all that. So now we're at BJ's currently. Can y'all see the sign? I don't know, but that's where we're at. We're at BJ's. So we're about to try to fill up our refrigerator. Why are you blowing spit bubbles? Stop it. made it back from the grocery store welcome to my bathroom closet this is the last thing i'm gonna be cleaning today because i'm tired of cleaning up but for the most part i got a lot done we did the kitchen which is spick and span cleaned out the whole fridge we went food shopping put all the food up cleaned the cabinets out kind of made them more functional the living room is clean the kids room is clean my room is another story but we're in the process of washing clothes right now so i never show my room because it's just always the last thing that i get to because i just i can't <laughs> so anyway we're in my bathroom closet and it's not that yeah it's junky in here but not junky like dirty it's just stuff everywhere i've tried to organize this closet previously in the past but i feel like i kind of the problem is i keep not throwing stuff away like stuff needs to just get thrown away and this is going to be the last thing that i clean today this is the closet y'all stuff everywhere that's my wig <laughs> and then i got diapers and tissue and then just extra stuff up here for storage this is a mess because <laughs> Nobody put stuff back where it goes, which was the same type of rant I had earlier. That's why this is a mess. So I'm just going to try my best to organize it as best as I can. I'm not going out to buy like any organizational things today. Um, so, well, tomorrow, I mean, except I need to get a bucket for my Christmas decor. And then that's it. But I'm not really going out to buy anything for organizing this closet so whatever's in here is just gonna have to work and i'm just gonna have to like move stuff around so that's what we're about to do Most of the hair stuff is down here. The towels, once they finish washing, they'll go there. This is just like extra stuff in the bucket, toothbrushes, toothpaste, and a bunch of stuff. 
and that's as good as it's gonna get. I hope y'all enjoyed this vlogmas video day nine or eight, whatever I said it was. And I'll see y'all in tomorrow's video. Peace. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays.